Mourners gathered to share their grief tonight over the loss of a little boy who police say died a torturous death from neglect. Action News reporter Cheryl Choden has more now on the vigil from Highland Park. Family members who gathered here tonight say the crime itself is so unbelievable and unthinkable. And the fact that the people who allegedly did this were close family members makes it even worse, if that's possible. Family and friends gathered tonight in song and prayer to remember four-year-old Robert Byrd, whose young life was cut short in the most horrific way, and according to police, at the hands of his aunt and uncle who were supposed to love and care for him. It's so sad for my sister and her husband to do that. To your own flesh and blood, she could have gave them to me. Lillian Brown is a sister of Matilda Gardner, who, along with her husband Randy, has been charged with the murder of the little boy, who was, according to doctors and investigators, tortured in this Highland Park house, even handcuffed and chained and starved. I don't feel sorry for them and what they did. They're going to have nightmares for the rest of their lives because they took a four-year-old child's life. He, he would never have the opportunity to live a normal, productive life. Yeah, either I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would feel no evil, for thy art with me. Tonight, they lit candles for Robert, and they shed tears of sadness. Robert's mom died back in 2007, and that's why he was living with his aunt and uncle. We're here to celebrate the life of Robert. Yeah. He might have lost his spirit here, but he's now with his mother. That's right. That's true. Family members say Robert would have turned five at the end of June, and they were looking forward to celebrating that milestone birthday. Now they're getting ready for his funeral. In Highland Park, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News. All right, Cheryl, thank you for that. Robert's aunt and uncle, by the way, Matilda Brown Gardner, and her husband, Randy Gardner, are charged now with a list of crimes ranging from first-degree murder to torture. Their next hearing is set for May 24th, and the Gardners do face life in prison if they're convicted.